Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into it. Top row is going to be a divine or twin flame type of energy. Bottom row is going to be somebody new that's coming in or like a newer energy. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, how does Cancer view the romantic situation with this top energy? How does Cancer view the romantic situation with this top energy? Okay, three of cups. Four of pentacles. Nine of swords. And the knight of pentacles. So I'm going to be honest, Cancer. I think that with this top energy, whether it's a twin flame, whether you're currently connected to this person, I think that you feel like your person or you is holding on to some type of third party situation. You may even be dealing with a um, Gemini or you also have um, Capricorn here as well as Scorpio or uh, Scorpio, not Scorpio, Leo and Virgo. And then you also have another can cancer energy here. I feel like there's something that needs to be let go of from the past that's no longer serving you or this person. And I think that it's creating a lot of anxiety and a lot of deep thought, especially during this Mercury retrograde with how to balance it, right? And I think that this relationship right now, it's moving a little bit too slow for you. I think that there's something here where you may even feel like you're stuck, stuck, like, like, like there's no movement, right? It's all stuck energy. Nothing here is progressing. There's no wands here, right? With no wands here, there's no movement. There's no passion. There's, there may be passion. Let me go back. But right now, you're viewing this relationship as not moving forward, but being kind of like stuck in a certain place. Or you may even feel like you're being friend zoned, right? It's like, what are we here? Are we just friends? Like, am I holding on to something for no reason? Like, what's going on? Three more cards, please. How does Cancer feel about their romantic situation with this top energy? Okay, High Priestess. I think that there's also a lot of secrets. Possibly are dealing with a um, Pisces or you also have High Priestess energy here. So you also have Taurus energy and um, Virgo energy. There, there's, there's not communication on what is keeping you guys stuck, right? There's a lack of communication here. And again, there's no wands. So I definitely feel like right now may be an awkward time or not the right time that you're, you're viewing it. Somebody may be even in denial about the relationship. And I also feel like there is some type of healing that needs to happen, especially with the hermit. And for some reason, I feel like either you or your person, they need to become single or they need to become independent in order for you guys to actually move forward. The problem is I think somebody is needs time alone. And I think the other person feels lonely. That's what I'm gathering. And I, and I also feel like too, there's secrets here that your person or you are holding on to that, you know, but is not being vocalized right now. Everything is kind of being like kept under the scenes. What did I say? Secrets. And to me, it's emotions, right? Somebody may, may be containing their emotions for you right? There's moon, there's Pisces or cancer energy. And then you also have cancer and Venus. I just feel like right now, cancer, you're not getting the emotional fulfillment that you need from this person because there's a lack of communication in how this person feels. It's, it, it's, it's like, you know, secretly, right? That there's this strong emotional draw, but at the same point in time, it's not being vocalized. And I feel like you're waiting for this person to finally express himself but at the same point in time, I feel like there's a level of fear here on your on your person's end. But I definitely feel like there's a lot of love here. It's a two of cups, right? It's, it's a soul connection. But at the same point in time, you know, it's not being talked about. It, it's something that's understood but not vocalized, right? It's like you feel it, but it's not necessarily said. So, for instance, if you tell this person you love them, they may not say it back. But you know that the way that they look at you, you know how they feel about you. All right. What about this bottom energy? What's going on with cancer and this newer energy? So those of you guys that are single or dating, this newer energy is probably going to relate for you. Um, who's coming or how does cancer view the romantic situation with this newer energy coming in for them? Okay. Seven of swords. 
Knight of Cups, there's um, Aquarius, and you also have Pisces, Pisces energy again, and also Pisces Aquarius energy. I feel like right now, again, I think that you guys are so intuitive, like cancers are beyond intuitive. And I think that when you, when somebody deals with a cancer, they don't realize that cancer picks up all their lies, right? It's like my grandma would always tell me, like, I don't ever ask you a question I don't already know the truth to. I feel like that's a cancer. Like a cancer doesn't ever ask a question that they already don't know. It's like a cancer is waiting for this person to lie or this person to say something. But it's interesting because I don't know if it's you or your person. You may be very like not really trying to talk to this person. Like you may be very in and out with them. And I feel like they keep trying with you because I do think that there's like you would be a level of wish fulfillment here. But it's all about taking that step. But I feel like for you, there's something here that maybe you haven't expressed to this person or this person hasn't expressed to you, which is why somebody keeps running away. Can you give me some more information here on how Cancer feels about this bottom energy, please? Mm, three of Swords, the world, and justice. What caused the Three of Swords? The Six of Cups. All right. I think that there's a lot of hurt from the past, right? Six of Cups, from childhood, from a relationship. There's something here that's not been healed. And I feel like for you guys, and I hope that I'm not speaking incorrectly here, but I feel like it's like you want a level of balance, but at the same point in time, the past is really hurting. There's something here about the past that you can't move forward from. And you know that a cycle needs to end. You know that you need to push forward in order to make things right. But at the same point in time, I think that it's hard. You may have even found out something that this person lied about, possibly even being in a relationship, um, possibly maybe even kids that they may have like a child on the way or there's something here pertaining to kids. How does cancer feel about this? How, how, how do they feel about this with this person, this bottom energy? Death, it's like you don't want any more of it. Like there's something here, cancer, with this bottom energy where you're like, at this moment, I feel like, it's like you guys feel like you need to work on yourself. Like you have to end this constant need and maybe... This is just what I'm picking up for some of you guys. It's like, you've always had somebody there, right? You've always had somebody. When you leave somebody, there's always somebody here. And I feel like right now you're going through a lot of healing, especially with temperance on past wounds. And I think that it starts by ending this and really focusing on yourself, focusing on your body, focusing on your mind, getting you in a good place, but it's doing it by yourself independent, independently. And I feel like it's it's not that you're losing hope, but instead of putting all this energy into this person or that person, it's investing it back into yourself. How does this top energy, how do they feel romantically about cancer, this top energy? Okay. Nine of Wands. I'm going to be honest. I feel like they can't stay away from you. I feel like there's something here between you and them that may have been very shocking. Um, there's some type of turning point, I feel like, for you and this person. There you are. And also the Five of Wands. Put this down a little bit so you guys can see. Hopefully that works. I feel like they view you as somebody that, first of all, never gives up, right? And I think that that's important. But I also feel like you're somebody that they definitely keep at a distance, right? This is Moon and Sag. So it's like they, they feel more comfortable being at a distance from you than coming closer to you. And I feel like it's because they have emotional issues or this person is emotionally immature or emotionally... Um, stunted i feel like from their childhood i don't know why i'm getting that i feel like they have a problem with their mom i don't know why i'm telling you guys that but i am and i think that that's why they're out of touch with their feelings 
And I think that this person has a huge ego. So with you, it's like they know the closer they get to you, you have the potential of hurting them. I also feel like too, they deny a lot of their emotions about you. It's like, they're prolonging your suffering and their suffering because they're not willing to actually just go with the flow and let go. I also feel like too, there's a lot of self-work that has to be done for this person and also for yourself. And for some reason, it's like there's a lot of energy where it's like they're trying to fight this, right? This is Saturn and Leo. You also have Cancer, Gemini energy, Aries or um, Scorpio energy. They feel like you came into their life at a moment where things were falling apart. And I think for them, they feel like you've created a level of change. You've created a different way of thinking for them. And I don't think that they're ever going to be the same after they have you. What do you want me to tell them about this tower moment? The lovers. They really do love you. What's the outcome of this tower? Or what caused this tower moment for this person? You know what the problem is? Is I don't think that they've ever had somebody love them the way that you love them. A Cancer's love is completely different than any type of love in the Zodiac. That's my personal opinion. I'm not a Cancer, but when a Cancer loves you, like they really love you. They give you everything. Everything that they have, they give it to you. And I think for this person, they're almost surprised at how loving and nurturing and intuitive you are. You know what they're thinking. When they're lying to you, you'll say something, right? It's not that you create drama, but you don't have a problem popping off and say, hey, player, I know you lied. You know, hmm, that doesn't make sense. You know, you're the type of person where it's like you call them out on their BS. And I feel like this person doesn't, doesn't have somebody like you that does that. I think everybody is a yes a yes man to this person. What's the outcome of this tower moment? Or, or I'm sorry, what, what, what caused this tower moment for this person with cancer? Look, they're happy. You make them very happy. Pisces energy, it's like you're their wish fulfillment. If they could take a perfect person and stamp it, it would be you. You check all the boxes, right? I feel like people have boxes. Are they intelligent? Check. Are they funny? Check. Do they make money? Check. Do they, whatever your boxes are, are they responsible? Are they dedicated? Are they loyal? All like, it's like you check all the boxes for this person. And I feel like you surprise them because their vision or their view on a partner has completely changed because of you. Why is the five of wands here for how this person feels? They also feel like you don't give up. Like you just keep fighting. Like you keep fighting for this person to see your worth. And also, too, you're very abundant, right? You have a lot of discipline. You're very self-reliant. Like, you fight. Like, you're a fighter. You're not somebody that lays there in the road and lets someone run over them, right? You get up and you handle business. And I think that this person definitely respects this. And I don't think that they can stay away from you no matter how hard they try. It's like you keep teaching them lessons. And they know that there's no escape here, right? No matter how far they run, their heart is always going to come back to you. No matter what. What about this bottom energy? How does this bottom energy feel romantically about cancer? Two of wands. So there's Mars and Aries, five of pentacles. They know that you have multiple options and that they know that there's a lack of communication here and a lack of understanding because there's another choice, right? It's like they, they know you have somebody clearly because for them, I feel like they're like, if cancer is not talking to me, then they're, they're dealing with somebody else. Like this person genuinely knows that they feel like you're very intuitive, very psychic, that, you know, things that you're very good with. Um, I don't know. There, there's something about you that like, I feel like turns them on with how like sp spiritually, like it's, it's almost like spiritually advanced you are. But they also know that you overthink things. Like there's a lot of areas here where I feel like this person feels like there's non-communication because of something from your past, right? There's something here where you're not telling them. And I think that it gives them a level of anxiety, right? With the nine of swords. And I think that for them, even the little bit of time that they've spent with you, it's like they can't get you out of their mind. And I think that they also know that, you know, you're lonely. You feel lonely and you need a level of attention. 
And for this person, they're hoping that you're just not there because you're worried of not having somebody, right? So I think it's kind of interesting that you have two people that definitely want you, but at the same point in time, it's like this person is very realistic with the connection. You want me to tell them on how they feel about cancer romantically. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and then you have the Queen of Swords. You're somebody that's very solid, okay? Capricorn energy. It, it's like, to be honest, like you'd be a trophy to them. Like you'd be arm candy, eye candy, whatever. They do feel like you're very successful. Some of you may have some type of platform where you're recognized or they may recognize you at work or something that you're doing here. It's also too the way that you speak. You don't have a problem being honest. You don't have a problem expressing yourself. Hey player, I don't like this. I'm not doing this with you. It's like you're very honest to the point and for some reason I feel like this person respects it and respects it a lot on a huge level. But I also think too, they know that there's a level of uncertainty with you right over here on how you exactly feel about them, which makes, you know, them really hold back their feelings from you. So I feel like this person is waiting for you to make the first move. And I also feel like this person feels like you're very hard, like getting to open up because you have that like crab shell, right? But once you get past the shell, it's all like soft and squishy and lovey. What's the block here for these two romantically, this top energy, Cancer, and this top energy romantically? What's the current block between these two? Somebody's married or there's some type of long-term commitment, possibly with a Capricorn or a Sag that's here. Multiple people. There you are, Cancer. You may be blocking it. And the fact is a twin flame connection, right? In order for a twin flame connection to fully... Here's my thing. I... I do, beforehand, I really didn't believe in the whole twin flame thing, but I do think that there's something to this. But the problem is with twin flame connections, you have to both be on the same frequency, right? And when you guys meet each other, you are on the same frequency. However, you either elevate and this person drops back down to their frequency or they stay at the same frequency where they met you. And until you both are on the same frequency, nothing is going to happen. And I feel like for you, there's some type of decision that needs to be made on your partner's end where they have to choose. Do they want the Queen of Pentacles or do they want the Queen of Cups? There's something from their past that they need to release because there's more than one person here and there's somebody here that's causing a level of friction, possibly a mom, a mother of a child, um, a family member, a father. There's something here that's causing friction in between you. And I feel like the fact that we have two queens in the middle of five of wands, that's telling you everything that you need to know. What's causing this block for cancer and this person? This top energy. Someone also has a huge ego. Huge ego. And there's something here that needs to end, to be honest. Something here has to change in order for things to move on. And it's a death of an ego, right? It's a death of somebody feeling like it's their way or the highway. Somebody needs to be more intuitive, more emotionally intelligent in order to be with you because you do require a level of emotional intelligence. And I think that somebody also may be very fixated on work, okay? What their working situation is. They're trying to build some type of empire prior to even committing, I feel like that, also. But there's something here that needs to end that no longer serves this person. What about this bottom energy? What's, what's blocking this bottom energy in Cancer romantically? Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. King of Swords. Four of Cups. This person just doesn't make you happy. They don't fulfill you emotionally because whatever this person is offering cancer, and this is moon in cancer, which is funny because moon is in cancer today, it's not enough. It, it doesn't fulfill you the way that you need to be fulfilled, not even remotely, because you have an idea with who you want and what you want, and it's not this. It's like a lot of like, um, I don't know why, but I say, I feel like like useless conversations and for you, it's also, too, that you're being very analytical and very cold right now. Plus, there's some type of choice here. There's some type of decision, right? There's two options. What's going to balance the other person out? Maybe a Capricorn or an Aquarius. 
that's coming in the way of this or a Scorpio or Libra. Like I said, somebody is not emotionally intelligent enough and they're not intuitive enough to pick up on your needs. And I also feel like there's something here that's been suspended for a period of time that definitely needs to be let go of, definitely needs to be released. Um, and I think that somebody here needs to have a very open mind. And I also feel like there is some type of healing that needs to happen prior to um, the progression of that new relationship or that new person. What is this person's romantic intentions as top energy with cancer? What is, what is their romantic intentions with cancer? Okay. What is, what is this top energy's romantic intentions with cancer? Moving forward romantically with cancer. What is their romantic intentions? Okay. Oops, I grabbed two. So... I feel like they want to get on the same page as you, right? I think that, I think that they want to tell you the truth. Um, I just think part of them again is stuck in between. I don't, I feel like this person needs to come to some type of decision about you cancer, but at the same point in time, I feel like they're in love with you, but then they also are in love with themselves. Jupiter and Leo, right? They put themselves first. They're the ones that need to win before anything. And I think that this person has a clear decision or they need to make some type of decision because they genuinely do love you. And I think that you guys are very close to completely committing or connecting. But I think that this person really has to get out of this. It's all about me energy. It's a very arrogant energy. Mm, nine of cups. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Let me ask, how would Cancer feel about this before I tell you? How would Cancer feel about this energy? Ooh, the Hierophant. Okay. I feel like they definitely want to make you happy because you make them happy. There's some type of wish that they want to fulfill here with you. I feel like it's something that they've been planning and keeping a secret for a period of time. And I feel like there's something here that they want to give to you. There's something here that they definitely want to give back to you is what I'm getting. I also feel like too, it's an, they're possibly ending one situation in order to be with you because with this Ace of Swords, like I feel like there's an epiphany here. Like, I think that when you came in their life, I don't think that they felt like love was important. You know, relationships weren't important. They were there to serve a purpose, right? It's a very transactional type of relationship. I make money, you stay home or vice versa, right? Flip it. You know, and, and until they met you, I think that they realized what true love was, to be honest. And now it's like they realize how empty their life was. And I think that they genuinely do love you. And I think that it is a level of true love here with the lovers. And you also have the nine of cups. And I think that they're going to begin to get worried that if they don't make it right between you and them, this is going to be a big lesson for them. And I feel like you're teaching them lessons, right? Hierophant every day. You're teaching them lessons and you're also having to learn how to forgive this person. Even when they fight it, you already know what's good. What about this bottom energy? What is their intentions romantically with cancer? Ew. Seven of cups, the moon, the king of wands, five of pentacles. I don't like this energy. I'm going to be honest because you also have five of swords. You have the Ten of Cups, and then you also have the Page of Wands. This is a very sexual energy, extremely. They want to leave you open as an option. I think that there's things here where it's like they're not willing to tell you, but I think there is wishful thinking on their end, but there's a lot of games. It's like you played some, you did something to them, so it's almost like they're trying to get back at you. I don't know why, but it's a very hateful energy. Again, with the King of Wands here, it's like they want to be in control. They want to be the ones that pull, pull the strings here. Ten of Cups, Page of Wands. It's almost like they don't care what they have to tell you in order to get you into this fantasy world. But at the end of the day, what they want is just a very um, sexual relationship. There's no pentacles here except the five of pentacles, which is a loss. So Cancer, that is your reading. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.